Your favorite time at Indiana University? My favorite time was as a player um, because there's nothing like playing. There, there's just nothing. I mean, you can coach. You know, ask any guy. Mike Singletary was just in here, Lucas Oil coaching the 49ers. Ask him. I mean, he'll tell you it's great being a head coach. Awesome, great. But there's nothing like being a player. And, and those four years, you know, that is the one point in my life where I wish I could go back knowing now what I know. Because I think everybody should coach. I think everybody should, like every kid coming out of high school should coach for a year and then go play. You get a totally different perspective. So having coached for as long as I did, my perspective of myself as a player, I think I'd have been a much better player had I done that. Um, tell me a good story. About what? About when, when you were at IU. You, you've you told me a million de- just great stories, and I retold one almost as my own, talking about Uwe and the, the bumper sticker on the back of his car that just made me made me laugh the Duke out loud. The basketball yeah, yeah, bumper yeah. sticker? That's just part But, I mean, there are a million good well, stories. Well, he came in one day, Coach Knight did, and uh, I used to imitate him. And so he, uh, he came in, and I was kind of imitating him. So he comes around the corner. And he sees me doing it, he stands there. And he says, all right, smart ass, get up here and do it. So what are you going to do? I'm like, guys, all right. Then you sit down there. You sit back where you're, you know. So I went through this whole deal. I mean, I was him. And, and all the time I'm acting like him to the team when I'm a player now. I'm a senior. I'm looking over my shoulder like, I hope the hell he's laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and he's rolling on the floor. And I ended it, my little speech with this dream of profanity directed at my chair. You know, like, Doc, it's you, you know, blah, blah, blah. So, but he was great with that kind of stuff, Kent. He was, he, he, um, now you had to be careful. Like, you know, when you lost a game, we played Miami of Ohio, Miami of Ohio lost Ron, Ron Hunter's team, or Ron Harper's team, and we had no business losing. It was at home. I think, you know, Alfred was a freshman, I was a junior. Game was afternoon game. Never forget, he said, all right, we're going to be dressed and ready to go at 7 o'clock tonight. Practice after the game. It's before the rules change. So, man, we came back at 7 o'clock, and it was a very simple practice plan. Full court pickup. He made Chuck Franz go run the stairs. Chuck, you're seeing here we lost. You just run. <laughs> so it was full court pickup until someone threw up. So, which sounds like, okay, you just get to play. Well, it's different. It's different at Indiana practice with Coach Knight. So, you know, you're picking up after your make. Everybody's picking up full court, and you're, you're not coming out. And I just remember, like, Coming out for a second, looking at Alford and Marty Simmons going, can either one of you guys throw up your freshman? Throw up. Please, God, throw up. Somebody throw up so we get the hell out of here. You know? But, you know, then we came back and practiced at 5 in the morning and then, and then we won like eight straight games. So there's all kind of things like that.